for you, Wahoo. Welcome to Jamie Duff, Florida Pottery. In this episode, I talk about Wahoo. I'm fortunate enough to live in sunny Florida, and I've mentioned before that I am completely influenced by my surroundings. I'm passionate about fishing, even though I don't go nearly enough. And at the moment, I live vicariously through YouTubers. And two of my favorites are South Florida Fishing Channel and Florida Fishing Couple both based down on the Florida Keys. Now, they are great, informative, and entertaining fishing channels to watch. And one day, Heiko from the South Florida Fishing Channel and Captain Dan from the Florida Fishing Couple teamed up and went fishing together. It was an exciting episode. Heiko caught his first Wahoo, and it was a magnificent beast, it really was. And what an impressive fish. I mean, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have a Wahoo on a mug. Plus, if you're drinking really good coffee, the wahoo on the mug is just a subtle way of saying to other people, wahoo, I'm drinking really awesome coffee. Now let's check out the beginnings of a Dove Clay Works wahoo mug. It all starts here with a ball of clay and a spinning wheel. The first trick is to center the rotating clay. Then I open the ball into a rough cup. I pull the walls, giving it a little height and width. Using a trowel, I remove the cup from the bat and I let it sit for a little while. Now that the cup has had time to dry a little, it's ready to trim. And I still find center the old fashioned way. I turn it, I move it half the distance, I turn it, I move it until I find the center. And once I did, I used wads of clay rolled into short cigar looking things. And then I pressed them onto the wheel next to the piece. Now press the wads of clay away from the piece and this will make the wad adhere to the bat while maintaining a solid grip on the piece. I get the wheel spinning pretty fast, and using a blade tool I made from an old drill bit, I start to trim the excess clay from the walls of the cup. When I trim, I like to use a piece of wood across the splash pan to use as an armrest. This helps me stabilize my hands and my arms while trimming. The result is a much cleaner and even trim. I use a blade tool to define the foot of the cup, and then I use a wire loop tool to clean out the inside of the foot and to trim the base towards the foot ring. Now that the mug is shaped, it's time to apply decorations and a handle. To prepare the mug, I use a serrated metal rib to score an appropriate size patch on the cup. I wad up a small piece of clay and press it into the sprig mold. To release the clay from the mold, I gently tap the mold onto a rubber mallet until the clay comes loose. I add some slip to the scored patch using a suction ball. And then I carefully attach the Wahoo sprig to the cup. I'm trying to be firm, but not enough that I damage the detail. Using a wooden tool, I blend and smooth the clay. Earlier, I extruded some handles. I cut off an appropriate size piece to use on this mug. I bend it in the approximate shape I need and then score both ends using the serrated metal rib. Then I score the side of the mug, add some slip, and then I press the handle into place. Using a wooden tool, I add little pieces of soft clay to the joins of the handle. And by adding a little more clay, it bolsters the connection and makes for a sturdier cup. Now that the handle's in place, I use my needle tool to score the top of the handle near the lip of the cup. I take another wad of clay and I press it in the sprig mold again. This time I only want the tail. I use a wire cheese cutter to clean up the fish tail and prepare to apply it. I squeeze a little slip onto the scored part of the handle and then I carefully place the wahoo tail onto the cup handle and clean it up a little. Now I take another wad of clay and ball it up. I take the rubber mallet and I whack the ball until it's flat. Then I take my name stamp and I press it into the clay. Using the wire cheese cutter, I trim the stamped clay. Using the serrated metal rib, I scored the back of the stamped clay and a spot on the back of the mug. Add some slip to the roughed up area. Now I press the stamped clay onto the mug gently yet firmly. I use a wooden tool to clean up the excess slip and smooth out the clay before wiping everything down with a sponge. I like to use a glass bowl as a resting place while I sign my work. I know I have a stamp on the mug, 
but I still sign my work. I started doing that to round out the slightly misshapen forms, and then I found that signing a mug on a bowl was the perfect amount of pressure to round out the rim. And that was the first few stages of making my Wahoo mugs. From that point, they'll be bisque fired, glazed, and fired again. And once they're done, I'll have to find them new homes. It's getting really crowded here. So check the description below for a link to my Etsy site. Check out my Florida inspired pottery and my South Florida fishing channel and Florida fishing couple inspired Wahoo mugs. And if you're into fun fishing and Florida Keys, you need to check out both of these channels. I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Click that subscribe button to see more cool clay content. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, hit like. Share the video with someone who could benefit from it. Leave a comment if you have a question or you want to see me demonstrate something. And once again, thank you very much for watching the video. Go have fun. Go play in the clay. Take care.